So I just gave, I'm giving everything a test run right now. I just went and filled up the RV with, uh, filled up with gas, filled up with propane, filled up with water. I just de dewinterized it. So, and I made a, uh, a small rookie mistake today when I was coming back. I was watching my mirrors instead of watching the rear view camera and I hit my house. Whoops. So, doing a rundown of all this. Got the generator going, got the water heater going. Propane turned on. Got everything going, trying to just give it like a little test run. Let everything warm up, see, see what everything happens. It's actually, it's kind of loud. But, um, I filled my propane tank was almost empty. I put 20, 22 gallons in it, which is about 100 pounds. Cost me $73. And then I, <clears throat> I was at a quarter tank of gas. And then I, so I went a block away and I filled it up completely full of gas until it stopped and it rounded to the nearest dollar. Cost me $117. So I spent $200 just putting fuel in here. And then I just put a bunch of water in here and, and de-winterized it. And now I have the pump on and everything. So wait on, wait on it. But like I was mentioning earlier, they had, I ran into my house. Oops. Um, I come, I'm getting the house a little bit cleaned up. The kids' rooms are kind of, they're destroyed, but their beds are taken apart, ready to go. Uh, the closets are empty. Uh, so most of, all this is pretty much trash now. The dresser's being sold, beds being sold. They had, my friend, my friend Brittany is actually coming out tomorrow. She's getting all this stuff here. She's getting the kids' kitchen. Um, this little tool thing, chair, desk. So she's coming to get that, and then the kids' bikes. Um, the bikes are out in the garage. So most of the stuff will be gone. I'm still trying to sell the beds. Uh, and then my friend Monica is on her way over now. They, well, she's actually never seen the RV, so I'm going to show her the RV. Uh, and then she's picking up a couple things. And then it's, we're slowly working in the direction we want to go. Um, a friend brought over a bunch of shoes, so I had, that's what all that light was. It's a whole setup and everything. I was just taking pictures of the shoes, taking pictures of the shoes and uh, getting it all set up. But yeah, so we're going to, whenever, as soon as my friend Monica gets here, we're going to do a tour of the RV. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to be doing the actual working on the RV. I got a few more days until, uh, I got a few more days until uh, my light comes in and I can install that and get it legal and everything. Um, but yeah, for right now, um, there's a few like little parts and stuff I need to put together. I got like a, part of a window frame. It's a, like a, just a wood decoration frame. I need to get screws for that. Um, I need to mount my TV. I took the old TV out of the like little closet entryway in the bedroom, and so I'm gonna put a flat screen in there with a DVD player, and all that kind of all that jazz. So uh, and then uh, gonna get blinds and stuff. Um, one blind is completely broken, so I gotta like remove the whole thing. <clears throat> gotta remove the whole thing and then put it back, put a new one up, and then um, the other one, I don't know, I haven't looked at it yet. So, tomorrow I think is gonna be a work on the RV day. So, this is slowly becoming a reality. Of, like, I'm just, you can hear my voice now, I have an echo in my house. Like, because I always have so much crap in my house, like, it never echoed. But like, I'm talking, and you can hear an echo, it's really weird. But, I finished cleaning out, all, it, this room is the smallest room in the house, and it freaking echoes like crazy. But this is Landon's old room. I have absolutely nothing left in here. I cleaned out the closet, as you can see. I have some trash here on the floor, not a big deal. Um, and I got trash in Jacob's room as well. But I took everything completely out of here. I think that TV's broken, I gotta double check. The TV works, but the both HDMI's, there's an HDMI here and there's one on the side here. Uh, and I think both of them are broken or bad HDMI cables, I don't know. But I saw, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, but everything's completely removed out of here, minus the like, little pile of trash. And then I have this dresser here. They, uh, it's on Facebook Marketplace right now for sale. If nobody buys it, my friend's taking it when she comes up. 
And then here in Jacob's room, I moved all the beds in here. Again, it's empty. So this is both the beds. They're right here. Mattresses. But I have this on Facebook Marketplace as well. You can see I'm not echoing in this room and it's bigger. It's because I got stuff in here. But a small pile of trash again, which I'm getting ready to throw in a trash bag. These toys here are going to a friend. Uh, nothing in the closet. I have like a comforter, but it's actually going in the RV. So people keep messaging me about different things. I have almost everything up for sale on Marketplace right now. Um, but yeah, this is, it's slowly becoming a reality uh, that I am not going to be here anymore for this house. So bathroom, I still use that all the time, so it's fine. Living room, I still use that, it's fine. Like nothing's changed in here. Um, kitchen, I'm still using everything in here. But yeah, it's, it's weird. Like I got somebody coming today, I think, to pick up the air hockey table that's in the basement. So that's going to be a big change out of there. I got somebody that wants my couch for 20 bucks. They're just trying to get a, uh, I have a downstairs couch. It's old and ruggedy, but I have a downstairs couch. It's old and ruggedy, but I have people, um, that really need a couch. I guess they lost everything on a fire or something. And so I was like, you can have it for 20 bucks. I don't care. So get rid of that. And then as, as it gets closer to when I'm actually going to start moving, they all start getting rid of like knickknack stuff like this whole, I have this whole kitchen or this whole living room set here. They, I'm going to be getting rid of. So, yeah, that's, so I'm going to give you guys like a quick update on that. It's, it's becoming a reality. And here I have my coats. Well, I have these suits here on Marketplace as well. This coat here does not fit me anymore. But Megan, my ex, as you guys know, she went to London. She went on a European tour. She went to uh, like London, Scotland, um, Ireland, and a bunch of like a bunch of little countries around there on some tour a long time ago. Um, and she actually bought me that coat. And since it's real, it's from Italy or Ireland or wherever she got it from. I don't want to get rid of it just because of the, just because she bought it from there. And I tried giving it to her multiple times and she doesn't want it. So I'm like. Whatever, like I'm not gonna get rid of it because of how you got it, but I'm, I, it won't fit me. And then this is for sale too. Finally emptied that out yesterday, cleaned out all the rocks and got everything cleaned up so it looks all good again. So that's for sale. Like pretty much, pretty much everything in my house is for sale. So if, if it's too high price for people, I'd say it should be a price and then we'll work out a deal. So that is that. Yeah.